Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is part two of the video that I did on how to set up a USB, the USB card inside the Akai S5000 sampler. So once you've installed the, the USB card in uh, the sampler, you're gonna need to install three files on your computer. These are the three files you're gonna need to install the USB card and your sampler to connect to your computer. Driver file is the first one you see on top and then the access file and then lastly the one at the bottom is the one for the skins of the access uh, software. I've already done that on my system so what I'm going to show you here now is I'm going to turn on my sampler and you're probably going to hear it uh, the computer uh, detect it once uh, it makes the connection. All right, I just connected it. You heard the sound it makes. It recognizes the um, the sampler. Now on my screen here, this is what came up. And you may get this on yours. It says that uh, welcome to found new hardware. Um, it's uh, I've already installed it, but sometimes this comes up and that's okay. What you can do is uh, just uh, click on. Okay, so there uh, you see the uh, the computer found the uh, the drivers and just click on next. So I had put my uh, USB uh, file in a, the driver file in a, in a folder in the root directory called S5K. So there it is. I select it and then I click open. And just click OK. All right, so now you see that it uh, finished. Now you should only have to do this once. I know I've done it before, but for whatever reason, um, when I plugged in the sampler, I just wanted to uh, reinstall the driver card. That's OK. It, should work fine and it should work fine for you too if it asks you to do it again my computer's old so it takes a little while to um to load but here it is access 2.53 on this side you see you should see your sampler which you can double click on it on this side you're able to see uh the disk and the memory of the sampler which right now it doesn't have any any samples built uh, loaded if you want to see the faceplate of the uh, sampler on your computer you click right here it just uh, says uh, show device front panel and it pops this up right here okay so there you, you see the uh, the front panel and everything you see here is a visual representation of your sampler when you turn the wheel even it uh, you know it does it and whatever you do here let's say you go to sample you click on sample down here it activates sample if I uh, press multi changes to multi program changes to program so anything you do here um, on the screen of the computer will automatically do it on the the sampler etc well you get the idea now if you want to um, get or are looking to get the USB card for your sampler I recommend that you do it but you know don't go crazy paying too much too much money for them because I know they're kind of expensive I happen to get mine for a pretty good price but to be honest with you if you're looking for a way to transfer files between your computer and your sampler remember this sampler has a SCSI port in the back so you can just as easily connect a, a zip drive to your sampler to the back of it and a zip drive to your computer the way I do it is I, I connect SCSI zip drive to the back of the sampler and I have a USB zip drive connected to my computer and I just save my samples there and once I'm done saving I take that zip drive out put it in the one connected to the sampler and I just uh, transfer and save my samples that way that seems to work very well for me but of course now I can do it just transfer via the USB cable now keep in mind this I think this USB version is uh, USB 1.1 so it's not going to be as fast as the USB 2.0 so if you have a large uh, library of samples that you want to transfer from your computer to your sampler uh, just be aware that it may take uh, a little while it's not going to be instantaneous it's not the fastest way to transfer files okay so just to show you how to um, transfer files from the computer right to the to the sampler here I've got a uh, folder with some files and all you do is just click on one and you drag it and you drop it where it says samples and you saw that okay, let me grab another one all right now if I go to the memory over here you see that you see that I have uh, my samples loaded on the uh, sampler already if I go down here to the sampler you'll be able to see 
you see that so yeah hopefully this was uh, helpful to you and if you have any questions or comments suggestions please feel free to leave them on there and uh, if you want to subscribe that would be great too all right i'll catch you on the next one and peace